What's going on, everybody? My name is Wolf21. This is part two of the Minecraft server bucket tutorial. This is about the console. Once the server's up and running, after you've, you've run, you double clicked on the run.bat and your server is now up and running, if you type in help, you're going to get all the different preferences within Minecraft that you can do. You can type help with a question mark, you can kick a player, ban a player, pardon a player. And all the descriptions are on the right-hand side. It tells you exactly what each of them does. You can opt player if you want to have like, almost like admin access to give yourself items. You know, give player item ID and then the number. You can tell a player a message. You can stop a server, save all. So it forces a server-wide level save, save off. But the main part you want to do now is you want to do save dash on and that levels enables terrain saving and after reading all the different options what you can do is you can op yourself so you can do op op your own name that just means when you go on the server you can actually do um, giving yourself stuff TPing from one player to another um, also if you do have plugins you can also just type in reload and that'll reload all the plugins, kind of do a refresh in case you you change a setting or you um, add a new plugin. You can just type in reload and it'll, it'll actually load in the new setting. And to stop the server, you just type in stop. Let's see, it'll save the chunks. Press any key to continue. And that's it. That's everything about the console. Uh, next video, we will go through how to copy your single player map to a multiplayer map. Thanks for watching. Always remember to rock on.